When you think of TikTok, you probably think of some 15 year old kids dancing to the only 10 seconds of a rap song they know. At least that's what I think of. So when I read that a woman caught her boss and secretary doing the dirty and decided to film it all for TikTok, well, I immediately made an account. All joking aside, insider.com were the first to break the story of TikTok user Page. Elizabeth, it's like Elizabeth with an X, who went viral shortly after posting a video claiming she was walking in on her boss and his secretary getting busy. However, it appears there's been an update to the story, which was first reported just a few hours ago at the time of this recording. We're gonna let you guys know all the tea today on Inform Overload. What's good everyone? I'm your host for this one, Jared Bronstein, and I don't care if you're drinking chamomile, English breakfast, green tea, it don't matter. Just do me a solid and spill some with us right now. Just like this, that's all you gotta do. As always, we got some comment replies, so stick around for that. All right, so the story here is in a now deleted video, Paige posted a TikTok of herself walking into her boss's office, pretending to have a question. You can hear screams and possibly even moans, obviously alluding to some fun happening in the background. Paige could then be seen covering her mouth and laughing as she runs from the door. The first video was captioned, I quote, casually walking into my boss and secretary doing the nasty. She also claimed it was, I quote, an everyday thing and put the hashtag, I hate it here. The video would blow up, prompting Paige to make a second video, which she claimed the whole thing was real. She mentioned how some accused her of lying, others said it was set up, but most just wanted to know how she knew they were going at it. In this video, Paige said, I quote, well, had you read my caption, you would see that it happens all the time. So I was like, hey, why not be like, ask him a question, walk in there in video. I just wanted to clarify that part before I do the whole story time, end quote. Then she posted the third video, a story time video explaining everything. After repeatedly hearing suspicious sounds and noises, Paige decided to play detective, and upon her discovery, I quote her saying, I was like, yo, I'm going to teach them a lesson today. I start recording, I walk up to the door, you've all seen the video. Paige also claims the secretary walked out looking embarrassed, but still gave Paige permission to post, which is like, that's kind of fishy. Either way, moving on. In a fourth video documenting the aftermath, Paige explained her boss found out about the video after it went viral, sitting at just under 13 million views. I quote, neither of us was expecting this. I left work that night, I got a text from my boss. He proceeds to tell me how extremely disappointed he is in me. I proceed to tell him how disappointed I am in him, end quote. She then claimed to tell her boss that his name wasn't used, so it shouldn't get out. But a lot of comments Paige received told her she should ask her boss for a raise. So she apparently did. I quote in the video, she said, basically I went from 13 an hour to 20 an hour. Hope you enjoyed, end quote. Now if you try to find the videos, well you won't, at least on Paige's TikTok account because she had to apparently take it all down. If you do go to her TikTok account though, you'll find two videos. One of them was posted just yesterday and explains how the whole secretary video was in fact made up. The video goes on to explain that she also got fired from her job. And going to the comments, it seems there's mixed reaction. Some people think she got what she deserved, although Paige doesn't mind because she's apparently famous now. Others showed their support, while some just wanted a story time to hear an update on the entire situation. As you can imagine, it is quite possible this situation does have update. In the comments, Paige claims she had to take the video down, which leads me to believe that she was possibly threatened with legal action if she didn't. I mean, aside from slander or defamation, if this was in fact real, she could have also gotten herself into a lot of trouble for publicly blackmailing her boss. And even though she didn't say any names, think of it like this. Someone who knows where Paige works sees the video and thinks it's true. That story then spreads and gets back to Paige's boss's partner. They split up because of a fake story that went viral on TikTok. Again, that didn't happen, but I understand why Paige took the videos down or was possibly asked to. Now, I can't confirm for sure that she was threatened with legal action, just my personal assumption. But given the situation, it really wouldn't surprise me. Now, I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. Did she deserve to be fired? I also wanna mention how people encouraged her to blackmail her boss. Even if this was a fake story, telling her to ask for a raise because she had the video, that's also so wrong. Again, cheating is also incredibly wrong, but that's for another time. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. DJ College shuts down girl twerking on live stream. It was titled something like that. I didn't put the exact title in the script, but it's like you guys know what the video is. Dennis Tobar said, Jared, if you don't like IG Live, you should try PHL. Your fans will thank you. Well, first of all, I don't know what PHL is. Second of all, I don't really have any fans. <laughs> Beyond this mortal canvas said, this makes me sad. When someone says stop, you stop. I don't like anyone who doesn't respect someone when they're saying no, it's wrong. Yeah, I can't say anything else. I disagree. Wholeheartedly agree. You're 100% right. Sammy Scott said, last time I was this early, it was still safe to go outside. I'm not trying to make a joke of the pandemic by any means, but that was a funny comment. So thank you for brightening my day a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. But again, hope you guys are staying very, very healthy. Hope you guys are staying safe. Um, you know, practice good hygiene and hopefully all this will end soon, but we're going to keep making some content. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys have been watching IO and we'll see you in the next one.